Hey guys, welcome to uh, Coffee Vlog number 17. So, uh, I don't know how many of you have seen the movie. I have seen the movie and uh, I'm going to try to do my best uh, not to spoil this movie for you guys. And I will not. But I will talk about some stuff that has to do with the, uh, the mental issues and uh, traumatic experience going through your childhood. Uh, whatever it is that you have experienced in your life and I'm pretty sure there's a good amount of people out there who have experienced something in their childhood uh, depending on what kind of parents you had depending on uh, what kind of family you were brought in okay kind of conditions you were brought in not all of us are brought in into this uh, happy family kumbaya fed with a golden spoon type of uh, childhood okay so I'm gonna talk about that a little bit but I'm also gonna talk about uh, Josh Brolin as you all know Josh Brolin has uh, Instagram he's on Instagram he he's always there he takes videos photos uh, so he loves Instagram so if you want to find Josh Brolin you gotta go to his Instagram and join his Instagram there you go if you wanna if you wanna communicate with Thanos you know, there's still a way for you to communicate with Thanos. Just go to his uh, Instagram. Now, this article is by Matt uh, Fowler. Matt Fowler, and uh, he actually talks about uh, Josh Brolin's statement that he left on his Instagram. Basically, Thanos praises Joker. Read Josh Brolin's thoughtful response to the DC film. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to read what Josh Brolin said. And then I'm going to talk about the Joker movie and how I felt about that movie. Uh, there won't be any uh, spoilers. And then we'll talk about uh, the troubling experience that Arthur had in uh, his childhood. And then what led him to become what he has become. So... Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and let's just click on Josh Prolin's profile. This is his profile, Josh Prolin. He's got 2.8 million followers. I don't know if he's going to be able to communicate with you. It's way too many people. <laughs> um, I'm going to view this on the Instagram, but I'll read it for you right here if you want. Um, let's read it. To appreciate the Joker... I believe you have to have either gone through something traumatic in your lifetime, and I believe most of us have, or understand somewhere in your psyche what true compassion is, which usually comes from having gone through something traumatic, unfortunately. An example of dangerous compassion would be to say, make a film made about the fragility of a human psyche and make it so raw, so brutal, so balletic, that by the time you leave the theater, you not only don't want to hurt anything, but you desperately want an answer and solution to the violence and mental health issue that have spun out of control around us. Uh, this film makes you hurt, and only in pain do we ever want to change. It is all in the irony of trauma, a fine line between... The resentment, the resentment of wanting to hurt society back for raping you of a decent life. Okay, I think this is a very important. I'm trying to do like a Thanos voice, but it's not working. Okay, this is the important part right here. What uh, what what really struck me, what uh, Josh Browning said here, and uh, hold on, I want to highlight this because this is the important part right here that I that I think. That you guys need to read a fine line between uh, no here, let me read it for you a fine line between the resentment of wanting to hurt society back for raping you of a decent life um, and that's something that uh, when you watch the Joaquin Phoenix performance when you watch the Joker movie that's something that you see and, and you feel you really feel for Arthur because, you know, he didn't ask to be born. Uh, he was born into this reality, okay? He didn't have a say. 
he didn't have a say that that his mother was going to be dying of 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 illness and and and, and cancer and then that that he's going to be having problems himself and that he's going to be kicked and isolated and and spit down and and tear apart as a, as a human being as a soul he just wanted arthur just wanted to be accepted into society he just wanted to be accepted and loved i mean is that too much to ask that's the question we got to ask and that's what josh brolin's saying that's the question we got to ask ourselves uh what happened to us as a society that we resent that we kicked off the curve someone you know even if you see somebody who's homeless and he's just really you know begging you to give him at least something um automatically we jump into this resentment into this judgment mode the knee-jerk reaction judgment mode you know this person is a bum this person is is a low life this person is a uh nobody he's a trash i'm not going to give him anything but you don't know his history you don't know what happened to him maybe he was the ceo of some company maybe he was a a, a great scholar but life turned 360 on him due to some decisions that that he made or due to something that alternately uh led him to go down that road but that's what 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 josh brawling is pointing it out here but let's let's read uh this film makes you hurt and only in pain do we ever want to change it's all in the irony of trauma a fine line between the resentment of wanting to hurt society back for raping you of a decent life for not protecting you and accepting what feels like alien feelings with softening to those others who seem freakish in an, our era of judgment and digital damnation like kids in middle school man they can just be mean for no reason and sometimes those awful little clicky kids breed an evil in someone that rages much later when everyone pretends we're all back to normal when we all thought it had just manned up and gone crazy we have a habit of hating and ostracizing and dividing and sweeping our problems under the rug joker is simply lifting the rug and looking underneath it nothing more nothing less it's there and what what josh brolin look i always like josh brolin uh, even since goonies uh, i i just love this actor man i love all of his movies he's a very talented and I think he proved that. Uh, and what he said here is so true, you know. And Josh Brolin had, you know, a, you know, troubling childhood growing up and whatnot. Uh, you guys can read more more about his, you know, his childhood and also his brother that went through some stuff. Uh, and and what he's trying to say to truly appreciate this movie, and I'm going to say this too, to truly appreciate this movie. You have to go through something in your life. If you're going into this movie and you were brought up in a very gold spoonish, uh, spoiled family where everything was given to you, everything was taken care for you, uh, everything was paid for you, uh, the college and everything's paid off for you. All right. If you're coming from that kind of a family, and you're going to see this movie, then you will not understand this movie. For you, this will be an alien movie. Okay, you will not get it. You will not understand it because you are, to us, you are probably alien because we don't understand your life and how you were being brought up and everything's given to you, everything's taken care of for you, like double standard kind of a crap. And this is what society is having an issue with. People who are just dominating all the wealth and everybody else is just kicked aside on the curve. All right, there's a little bit of that too, okay, which I have to address, all right? Uh, so if you are going in to watch this movie and you haven't gone through anything in your life, then you truly are not going to appreciate. You're not going to understand because you can't appreciate because you've never been through anything difficult in your life. I'm speaking for those 1% who are born with the golden spoon, everything it's giving to them. They're being uh, pampered and, and spoiled and they got everything 
for you, you're probably going to compare Heat Ledger Joker to this Joker. And this is why some of you are not going to understand this movie. This movie is really dealing to what makes someone become... Well, even... The, you know, it's funny because Thanos is talking about this. But what's also interesting is what led to Thanos to become Thanos. You know, I don't think anyone's just born evil. I think something triggers a person to go a certain road. Something triggers them to to move to that next level. And there's an old saying, you know, what we manifest in our society, it mirrors back into our faces and it backfires into our faces because we don't realize what we're doing when we are isolating ourselves, when we're dividing ourselves, when we are picking on certain people just because of the way they look, because of their physical appearance, that it's not their fault, you know, maybe they had a, you know, poor parents who didn't have the best of means to, to take care of them, and lack of that, you know, it is what it is. So, but we're so quick to judge, you know, and that's the issue with today's society, is people are so eager to quick and judge, quickly to judge, someone based on how they look based on how they're dressed but they never judge them based on their actions like okay this is a okay fine you know we can't judge discriminate people based on how they look or based on how they're dressed it's not his fault he's trying you know he's trying to fit into this world like i said you know we are not asked to be born we don't have a choice uh we were just brought into this reality so what uh, Josh Brolin said here, it's really uh, its really amazing and very touching, and uh, I'm glad that it's getting half a million likes. You can go to his original, uh, there it is, Josh Brolin, uh, and you can read it, his original statement here on the Joker movie. So kudos to you, uh, Josh Brolin, because um, I know that some of you, or maybe majority of you who've been through this will sympathize with this now granted we're not sympathizing with what he has become obviously it's too late this is what he has become that's it it's too late the damage has been done but we need to understand what led to arthur to become this this entity okay or if you want to this this joker this this character what led to arthur from being this innocent good person to turn into this and I think that's the question that uh, Josh Brolin is bringing up and that we also need to really look carefully and what this movie is doing it's lifting that rug up like Josh said and we need to not just cover that up and call someone oh this this person's crazy this person's mentally not stable just give him some pills that doesn't do anything that only masks the problem that doesn't solve the problem we need to look at our society we need to look at how we treat other people and at the end of the day we have to look at ourselves in the mirror no really after each day okay when you wake up when you come back home throughout the entire day I need you to look yourself in the mirror rewind the film throughout the day 24 hours and ask yourself hmm why did I have to do that why didn't I give the signal light why did I just pull in front of this guy or why did I give that guy a finger or why did I do this why did I do that we never ask ourselves that that we never look at ourselves in the mirror and ask ourselves that question why did I did what I did today why couldn't I be more uh, polite why couldn't I be more understanding why couldn't I be more compassionate like the word is compassionate you know why am I so quick to judge this person based on his physical appearance based on the way he's dressed who am I to judge? I don't know this person's history. I don't know what, what happened to this individual. And I'm so eager to to have this knee-jerk reaction to just judge somebody. So um, <clears throat> kudos to Josh Brolin, man. And uh, like I said, I, I like I like the sector. And what he said here, it, it's so true. You guys can read it, can go through it. And... Um, like he said, to appreciate this Joker movie, I believe you have to have either gone through something traumatic in your lifetime, and I believe most of us have. So, uh, I when I went to see this movie, it really kind of hit home, because uh, 
I, I've gone through some of the stuff that, that, that I see in this movie. You know, I had a lot of traumatic, you know, especially the war in Bosnia. You know, uh, that was, that alone was traumatic. Uh, five years of that, you know. But, it, you know, this is something that I'm glad that this movie exists. And I'm glad that it's there. And I'm glad that it's getting a lot of uh, attention. And I'm glad that it's making a big buzz and, and dominating the box office. Because this is something that, that, like Josh Brolin says, we need to we need to carefully examine, and we need to really have a serious talk about this. You know, you can't just give someone pills and thinking that if you give someone a pill, that's gonna solve the problem. No, the drugs don't solve the problem. Look what happened to Heath Ledger uh, taking the pills, and he OD'd, he died. Uh, allegedly, that's that's what was the story. Uh, I'm just simply trying to say that we as society, we have to, I think this really comes down to us as a society at the end of the day. Because the movie, I've seen the movie, I'm not going to spoil it, but the movie deals with society and how society treated Arthur. You know, and, and, and when you see the movie, you, you're going you're gonna to feel bad for him in, in the beginning. You're going to say, well, well, Jesus Christ, why are people being so mean to him? You know, I mean, what the hell has he done to anybody? You know, he's just trying to, to fit in. He's trying to, to, to be noticed that he's trying to be a comedian. Uh, he, will, he wants to be creative. But people are resenting him. People are kicking him off the curb. You know? Uh, they're not even giving him a chance. You know, that's the thing. You know, he's not given a chance at life. You know, he was just given what he's given. He's given this shitty deck of cards, and um, the society, like I said, what society manifests, it backfires into, it mirrors, and it backfires into rough faces. So whatever we manifest out there in society as, as individuals is going to backfire and, and, and reflect like a mirror into our faces. And I don't know, I know I even talked about this. I talked about this on my previous vlogs. I talked about this. Uh, oh my God, if you go back to 2017, uh, 2018, uh, if you look at some of my vlogs, I really touched on this issue. I really, really, and I'm glad that Todd Phillips is touching on this issue. I'm glad that he's uh, brave enough to do this movie. And I'm also congratulating Joaquin Phoenix for his performance. Losing all that weight, man, it was really dangerous. Uh, and then to perform what he needs to perform without with that very skinny, skinny, uh, whatever. 70, well, he, he almost looked like he was 75 pounds. Uh, to perform with this kind of energy and to be so skinny like that was very dangerous. But he performed it and he did it. Uh, so uh, kudos. He definitely deserves an Oscar for this. Uh, Here's what I want to say. People who want to compare this to Heat Ledger Joker. Guys, Heat Ledger Joker, it's already fully developed Joker. All right, it's smart. It knows what it's doing. Uh, it's very skilled. So we're talking like way, 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 way far, 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 far in the future. Okay? And that's, that's the Joker that you see with the Heat Ledger. Well-adjusted, smart. He's past being, you know dealing with society and all this other crap. This is really the origin. This is really how Joker became Joker. What led to him to become what he is. So this is why I always tell people, don't walk into this movie expecting something like a, you know, a, a Heath Ledger type of uh, Joker. You're not going to find it. Uh, that's why Todd Phillips went this route to, to tackle this issue of mental health and how people are so resentment to kick somebody off the curve and not accept them in their society and at the same time to to peel off the joker character and what led to joker to become what led to arthur to become this monster to become the joker you know you don't just become evil there's something that gradually develops you to become that and that's what this movie deals with Anyway, uh, I hope I didn't spoil much. 
I don't think I spoiled anything here. Uh, there's a lot of great scenes in this movie. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to tell you what it is. There's one specific scene that uh, it's it's a bit shocking, but it's it's I'm not going to say, but you're going to see it. Uh, I like the element of surprise, uh, and that's what I want you guys to see. Okay, uh, so this movie starts kind of slow, but there's a reason why it starts kind of slow. But it then it builds up and builds up, and then you put the layers together. Then you truly, at the end, you understand, oh, so that's what happened. That's what led to what led to, to become this. All right, guys, well, thank you for this coffee vlog. Let me know what you think. Have you ever been to some dramatic experience, uh, uh, traumatic experience or stuff like that? Like I said, you can go check out Josh Brolin. Go to his Instagram and um, let, me know, uh, let me know what you think. Have a good one, guys. And have you seen the movie? Let me know. Take care.